Hello everyone! After quite a long time, I have something very special to announce. The new Macos Bridges Update 2.0. This update is the biggest one yet made for bridges. Uh, it adds just so many changes and well, I just have to show you. So let's start, I guess. So first up, uh, you can see that the models changed, yeah? If we take, okay, we can take this one, this one, this one, and this one, for example. So, you can see that they are now just one block wide, not like it was before. I think it was about two blocks, but it was centered and you could not hit the guard rail here. It would not break, but now... If we see, you can just click it and it will remove the bridge right away. So, you may ask, why have you changed the models like this? Well, I will show you. So, first off, we can just place it like we want. Ah, you can see something new here. Well, this is the new cornering system. Yeah, so you are now able to make corners with bridges. Yeah. So that's cool, I would say. A lot of you wanted to be able to do this, so I've decided to add them. You can see, we can just combine them like this, like this. Oh, what is this? <laughs> well, this is not a corner <laughs> anymore, is it? So with corners, I've added something very special and that's the new width system basically if you place a bridge like this and you place another one like this it will connect and make a two block wide bridge if you place another row here it will make a three wide bridge if and you, you can keep placing them as as much as you want and as many as you want you can just go right there at the end of the map with it it will still connect well, but now you may be asking, well, you can't get into the bridge, right? It doesn't have this end piece here. So how can I get inside? Well, <laughs> I've added a new tool for bridges and <laughs> the pliers. <laughs> so this is the crafting for them. You just place three iron nuggets like this, one iron ingot here and here, and you have these pliers and you can see it has a description. Right click on a bridge to change it to an end part. Works only for two and wider bridges. For two and more. <laughs> okay, so you can see if you right click on this one, nothing will happen, right? But if you click here, see? It will change the model to an end part. And if you want to undo the action, you can just click again and it will turn it back to its original state, yeah? And you can do this, with, do this with any bridge. For example, here we have the orange one, you place it down, you can just click here, click there, and it will change. Um, there is one small thing about this, which I will show you right now. So, um, what's the, yeah, rope bridge is the best. So, if I place it like this, see how it placed the base part? Yeah, okay, and now if I place it like this, it changed it because of the way you are facing, right? So there's one issue that if you, for example, make a bridge like this and change it here, it will think that you want the bridge to start here and not on this side. So you better, you always have to just place it like you normally would I don't think anyone will even place it like this or you can keep placing it this for example this way and you can just place the end part facing that way or this way and just take the pliers and cut it down because here it would again mess it maybe not maybe this bridge not but the rope one yeah you have to you always have to have it oh my god sorry for my English I want to make this video without any special c 
cuts or anything, just one clip and I want to see how it works. Okay, so this is something weird. Well, we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, that's the only thing about pliers. You just have to really take... Uh, you really have to aim at the right side of the bridge. So here you can't do this. I mean you can, but the end piece will just break. But if you place it like this, facing that way, or again the way behind you, it will simply know that you want the bridge to end here. There was no other way really to implement it, so this is the easiest way for everyone to be used. And it is pretty much bugless. So yeah. Okay, so I've showed you the new... Okay, the next thing which I want to show you uh, is the new torch placing. So I've had to change it a little bit, but not too much. So. If you put down a torch, it will now place it like this, see? Just a simple one model. I made it like this because if it would be a torch model like this, for example, like this, and you would ha I would have to put one model faced like this, faced like he here, here, and again one model in the middle. So I decided to put up one model and for any bridge. I think it really looks good on the bridge, to be honest. But you can write down your suggestions, but I think this is pretty great. See, you, you can just make it like this, light up. Okay, and that's everything about the torches. If you want to remove them, just click on it again, it will pop up, or you can just remove the wall block and it will just pop out again. So I've showed you the torches, now I should change you, oh yeah, the new pillar models, the support bridges or whatever. <laughs> okay, so we will take one metal, one oak, one this, one this and one this, okay. So if you remember the old ones could not be waterlogged, so this one can be. I fixed that and you can see that you can combine them to make any shape of the support as you want. For example, for a three wide bridge, you can put three right th like this and it will combine or four. And this works for pretty much any bridge. You can even make corners. You can make, I don't know, any shape it will combine it. So yeah, and you can see that I changed the item models in the inventory because the old ones were small and if you were holding it in the hand you could not tell what you are holding. Now it now you can see that it holds it like a normal block, which is nice. It's a small thing but it, it really helps with just knowing what you are holding. Um, yeah, so that's all about the bridge support. Now let's go to the bridge stairs, with which is a new addition. I'm gonna take some of them so I can show you how they work. Okay, I think this is enough. So let's say that you have a rope bridge. For example, you start down here and you would like to move it up here yeah so I oh, not this <laughs> um, where do I have it oh I removed it by selecting the grass okay so let's place it like here this and now we can decide where the end part is like this so we can move and here now we will take the spruce bridge stair and if we place it like this and this, it will make a stair with the bridges. <laughs> oh, okay, I can do it like this and this. Okay, see, now we can have any <laughs> uh, elevation to the bridges if you want to. 
it's really up to you yeah it works pretty good and one thing you can also put a torch in them for if you want for any reason to have it lighten up in the night so that's pretty cool I would say and oh yeah you can make any wide any width of the bridge as you want so you can just make it like this and voila you have a five or six five block wide stairs for the stone bridge I love this so much <laughs> and you may ask well how do I craft them well here's the recipe for them so you just take six blocks of any bridge you want to make the stairs and you just make it in the stair shape and you get six stairs you can do it with the bamboo you can do it with the birch ones too yeah that's great and you can see that there are no, there are <laughs> they are there are no longer any shader issues with the bridges so i fixed that issue too which is great Oh, and also with the change of the model you no longer should receive a fly kick when standing on the guard lay on the ser on the server because the thing what was causing it was that the hitbox was not in the main block but it was next to it you know so that was ca causing the fly kick okay and I think we should move to some of the more drastic change which happened um, <laughs> where is the rail here okay so I have to ch I had to change the rail bridge too and now you can see that it has a completely new model so they were summary a lot <laughs> well I will say the first reason why I changed it like this is because a normal classic train bridge would have more support down the other bridge didn't have any support which didn't make any sense and also the next thing there are no guard ra guard rails <laughs> here and here because you would not be able to place down a rail so this way you are able to place down the rail and even make corners if you want to up, 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 up. And now you can make a corner for the train. So I removed the placing redstone torch in it, like you could. You can place the torches on them. You now have to take a lever, put it where you have a power powered rail. Just turn it on, and it will light up. Power it on, like this. One great thing about these new bridges is that they are they work with immersive railroad rail <laughs> come on i hate this word with i air where rails you know where you have the big i think they are two or three block wide rails which is great and with these new large bridges you are able to just take a car or any vehicle from any mod and you can just ride across the bridge and I think that's everything let me see again I think yeah yep that's all so this is a massive update and I wanted it I wanted you to show everything like this because I would forget maybe something so, but yeah that's it also this version is uh, have has been ported for 1.17 so you can enjoy it in the new version I think I'm actually playing yeah I'm now playing at 1.17.1 which is awesome so if you have any other suggestions for a new type or something which could be what could be improved just let me know in the comments um, hmm. oh if you like this video be sure to <laughs> leave a like and subscribe and oh yeah, I think that's all. So see you next time. <laughs> Bye.